Hello family and friends and fellow YouTubers. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner and today I want to share with you a special project that I am doing. Um, my daughters decided to co-host a birthday party for their dad. John is turning 70 this year and the girls wanted to throw him a surprise birthday party. So they asked if I would help out and I agreed because John is still a friend and so I am doing part of the cooking. Um, I am fixing the baked potatoes and the um, baked beans. And, uh, and then Karen is fixing barbecue chicken and then um, ham sliders and turkey sliders. And then we're getting vegetable trays and fruit trays uh, from a local store. And Karen has ordered a cake. And Katie, um, who really doesn't like to cook all that much. She has um, been our coordinator in sending out invitations. She researched all the friends, got addresses, phone numbers, sent out all the invitations, and she is also doing all of the decorating for the party and uh, buying the paperware and the decorations and that type of activity. So Katie's kind of been our chairperson and Karen and I have been pitching in with food. And uh, so my uh, jobs were the baked potatoes, the baked beans, and then um, getting a photographer for the day, which I was able to get a really good friend of mine, um, Michelle Huseman of Huseman Photography. And then to also put together a display table of memorabilia and photographs and pictures and uh, just kind of a day in the life of John uh, to show his life. Anyway, so, but today I'm working on the baked potatoes. Karen and Katie have taken their dad out for Chinese. He loves Chinese. They like Chinese. I do not like Chinese. <laughs> so, while they're out enjoying Chinese, I am doing 60 baked potatoes. And I was going to share with you the way I'm doing the baked potatoes. So, the first thing I did was I got the Jumbo Russet Potatoes. Um, they come in 8 pound bags and there's about 10 potatoes per bag. Alright, then the next thing I did was I washed all the potatoes and scrubbed them with a scrub brush. And then I have completely dried them. I laid them out uh, to air dry. And, uh, and then I'm also uh, drying them individually as I prepare them. And the way I'm preparing them is... Okay, so now let me share with you how I'm preparing each of these potatoes. So I take a potato that I have already uh, washed and scrubbed and uh, have let air dry, okay? And then I'm taking a towel, a clean towel, and I'm making sure that they are extra dry because I want to make sure the skin is thoroughly dry. Okay, and then I'm putting them in this bowl here and I'm spraying them with some organic extra virgin olive oil. Now you can use the liquid olive oil but I just find this works easier. Okay, then I spray the potato down like so and then I use some sea salt and I sprinkle that on my hand and I rub that into the potato, okay? Then, with my clean hand, I get a sheet of aluminum foil that I have pre-cut because I couldn't find any of the already cut ones. So anyway, I pre-cut these and then I take the potato and I put that on the aluminum foil and wrap it. Okay? And I will go back and wrap those better, but that's the way I'm doing it. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to the next step. Okay, so the next step is I take the potatoes that I have partially wrapped here, and I just fold over the ends, okay? And then I'm laying them into this Hamilton Beach uh, 22 quart roaster oven. This is a roaster oven. It's different than a crock pot, okay? And um, 
so and these roaster ovens will hold they say 20 I have actually gotten 25 in them so I have two of these so I'm hoping to get 25 into each of these and then make 10 in the oven but anyway so that's what I'll be doing is uh, putting 25 potatoes into two of these roaster ovens and then finishing off by putting the last 10 into the uh, regular oven. Then we will plug these in where the party is being held and they will keep the potatoes warm. Um, you have to cook the potatoes. Well, it depends on what de degree you're cooking them at. You can cook them at a low degree for a longer time or a higher degree for shorter time. Um, our plan is to cook them at the highest temperature, which is, or actually, no, nope, the highest temperature is 450. Our plan is to cook them at 400 for an hour. So that's our plan. All right. And then the baked beans will just go into the crock pot. All right. Talk to you guys later.